welcome to another video in this video i am going to discuss about numerical on mechanical behavior of material in particular tensile test we know the mechanical behavior of the material is very important to know the performance of the material under given service conditions mechanical behavior of the material means knowing the mechanical properties such as ductility hardness strength and so forth we need to conduct different test in order to find these mechanical properties tensile test is the one very popular test to know the mechanical properties so here is the setup shown where a universal testing machine is used to conduct the tensile test let's see that one how this test is conducted so here is a simulation of a tensile test this i have taken it from the virtual lab which is developed by nitk surat kar from the tensile test we get lot of information and the data so which we can use it to determine the mechanical properties normally the data which has been collected here is utilized to draw the stress strain curve so which is a very important curve which will give you the idea about the different mechanical properties these all things are explained in a different video kindly watch that video let's consider a sm small example on tensile test a tensile test is conducted on a steel piece having angst modulus of 300 kN per mm square diameter is 12 mm gauge length is 50 mm following observations were made yield load 24 kN maximum load 43 kN breaking load 40 kN final length at the fracture is 70 mm calculate yield stress ultimate tensile strength elastic elongation and percentage of elongation let's note down the what data is given in the problem number 1 there is a information is given that the material is having a angst modulus of 300 kN it means 10 raised to 3 newton mm square further it is said the diameter of the test specimen is that is the original diameter is is equal to 12 mm and gauge length of the specimen is 50 mm the following observations were made that is yield load the yield load let me represent it by f and y is 24 into 10 to 3 newtons similarly the maximum load is 43 kN and one more information is there that is load at the breaking is 40 kN further it is said the uh, gauge length that is the final length is 70 mm and we need to calculate the yield stress and ultimate tensile strength and we need to calculate the elastic elongation and percentage of elongation so let's try to solve this particular problem so let's start with what we called as a yield stress so we know that one stress is nothing but which is equal to load by area in this case it will be yield load divided by the cross sectional area so as a specimen is a circular one so it's cross sectional area will be equal to pi by 4 into d square let's substitute the values here that is 24 into 10 raised to 3 this is multiplied by 
pi by 4 into the original diameter is 12. So it's a square. Let's see how it is calculated. So we are showing you the how it is calculated. That is 10 raised to 3 multiplied by 24. That is divided by pi into 12 square. And it is divided by 4. And the close the bracket. So you are going to get a value of 1212.2 So value comes out to be 1212.02 Newton per square Second one is we need to calculate the ultimate tensile strength so we know that one strengths are again expressed in terms of the stresses. So it will become stress which is obtained at the ultimate load. So let it be sigma UTS is equal to that is the maximum load. Again it is divided by the cross sectional area that is we need to calculate the original area here. So this is again equal to P now the maximum load is 43 it to 10 raised to 3 again it is divided by pi by 4 into 12 square. So if you calculate out so you are going to get a value of 380 Newton per mm square. So in this way, we got the values for the yield stress and ultimate tensile stress, so which is expressed in terms of ultimate stress. The third point is we need to calculate the elastic elongation. So this elastic elongation is quite related with the Young's modulus. So how it is related? Let's see. So we know that the Young's modulus, that is E, is equal to. It is nothing but. It is stress by strain. But what type of stress it is? It is elastic stress divided by the elastic strain. In this tensile test, which is a uniaxial test. So, this elastic strain itself represents the elastic elongation. In simple terms, so we need to calculate the elastic strain. So, we know the value of what you call Young's modulus, that is 300 into 10 raised to 3, so which is equal to the elastic strain. We need to know it. This elastic strain is again, we can write it in the form of breaking load divided by cross sectional area. This whole thing is multiplied by epsilon. Let's calculate this here separate. So that is nothing but which is, is equal to forty into ten raised to three. Again it is to be divided by the cross sectional area that is pi by four into twelve square. So when you calculate it, it comes out to be 353.6 Newton per mm square. So let's substitute the value here. That is 300 into 10 raised to 3, which is equal to 353.6 divided by the elastic strain, or that is nothing but 
elastic elongation. So my elastic elongation, you can get it by the above equation and it comes out to be 1.178 into 10 raise to minus 3. This is my elastic elongation. So now to we calculate the percentage of elongation. So we need to take the change in length divided by the original length. So that is nothing but percentage elongation is equal to change in length divided by original length. Remember here everywhere unless and until it is given we will be calculating the engineering stress and engineering strain. The final length after the breaking is found out to be 70 and my original length is gauge length is 50. Again it is divided by 50 and we need to multiply it by 100. So it comes out to be 40%. So in this way the Mechanical properties can be obtained by the tensile test, so which is going to give you idea how the material is going to behave under the service conditions. So thank you for watching this particular video. Do subscribe my channel. Even you can visit kdedutech dot teachy.com for more such type of videos and more courses on machine learning, robotics, competitive examinations. Thank you once again for watching this particular video.